This is Nicopolis Adistrum, located near Veliko Tarnovo, in what is now north-central Bulgaria. Founded to commemorate Trajan's victories over the Dacians, it was laid out as a grand Greek-style city, with a hippodamian grid of streets, imposing public buildings, and a monumental forum. This was the forum. It was laid out as a monumental square, elevated from the surrounding streets and thus closed to vehicles. It was bounded on all sides by a peristyle, a colonnade, and by statues of the emperors and local benefactors. The shelter in the middle of their screen covers the base of a large equestrian statue. On this side was a basilica, an imposing structure with both political and economic functions. A long Greek inscription commemorating the thanks of Septimius Severus for benefaction he received from the people of Nicopolis. And beside it, what's left of the Buletarian. Nicopolis was organized as a polis, a Greek city, and thus had a boule, a Greek-style city council. They met here to debate the issues of the day. Beside the Forum and Bulletarian was the Odeon, a small covered theater that serves as a venue for various cultural events. It had about 350 seats. The main streets of Nicopolis were paved with colossal stone blocks. The ones you're looking at are about eight feet long and four feet wide. Beneath them, visible from the depression in the center of this street, were sewers that carried away both human waste and rainwater. The main streets were bounded by colonnades, beyond which were shops. A better look at the drainage channels that underpinned all the main streets. As you can see, they were about three feet high by a foot and a half wide, and were tied to the buildings on both sides by a network of terracotta pipes. Here we have the brick-built drain that carried wastewater from the Forum. It continued beneath these steps and beneath this street, which led towards the North Gate. In fact, they've opened up the channel, but have not taken the trouble to cover this <laughs> sewer with a grill, so beware modern tourist. Beside the street, we have the mysterious Thermo Peripetus. It appears to have been a basilica-style building, and was completed in the reign of Commodus, with uh, rows of shops on both sides. To judge from its name, the floor was heated, making it a pleasant place to stroll in the inclement winter months. One more view of the colossal stones that paved the street and of the drain beneath it, which here again has been opened, but very much not covered. A selection of monuments from the Necropolis of Nicopolis. The settlers who came here in the reign of Trajan originated all over the Eastern Mediterranean, with many coming from what's now Western Turkey. Their graves indicate their occupations, which ranged from leather worker to veterinarian. This is the North Gate. Like the rest of the fortifications of Nicopolis, it was built after an invasion of the Kostabaki in 170. The tower above this gate reached a height of 12 meters. The rest of Trajan's victory city, like so much else here in Bulgaria, awaits future excavation. Some of the marble that decorated the Forum at Nicopolis can be found here in the courtyard of the Archaeological Museum at Veliko Tarnovo. Here, for example, we have a, a fine votive altar there on the right, a monumental marble table leg, a few more votive altars and a fragmentary relief, and the highlight, this imposing heroic torso.